Hey, I'm V, and today we're finding out if BuzzFeed makes the fluffiest pancakes. Pancakes are one of the most iconic breakfasts. I really, really, really like pancakes. They're one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. Pancakes is the only thing that I like. The Japanese have these really big fluffy pancakes. They kind of look like what my body looks like in the winter, like just really thick. Thick Daddy pancakes. The Dutch people have these thin crepe-like pancakes that I really love because they love to add savory toppings. The best one I've ever had is at this place called Pancakes Amsterdam. It was with goat cheese, pine nuts, bacon, and spinach, you know, for a little health factor. Like, that's gonna help at this point. And then Bulgaria, ever I picked my nose, sorry. My grandma's been making me these like boa chinki, which are also like crepe pancakes, but she puts a lot of like salted homemade butter on them. I also like American pancakes. I kind of like chocolate chip pancakes a little bit better than like the regular maple syrup type. Tell me what you guys like. So today I saw this vid video. <laughs> today I saw this video from BuzzFeed and it said, these are the world's fluffiest pancakes. I don't know why I just got closer, like hello. <laughs> If we're being 100% honest, I'm not sure their pancakes exactly looked like the most fluffy, but they did look fluffy. I just think, I'm not sure if it was worth all that work. So today, we're gonna investigate, is it worth it to make homemade pancakes, or should you just buy the store brand? Whoosh. This is the first pancake I've ever seen that has more cellulite than me. Uh, pancakes, good morning. The maker of this video lady, she said to not scoop the flour, but to scoop the flour into the cup so it's not too densely packed. I don't think pancakes should be a precise art. I think pancakes are one of the arts that's a little bit more loosey-goosey. Let's make a coffee. Oh, look at that thick, oh my God. Have you seen a thicker foam? We're gonna use ghee and not butter because we are fancy. Get it? Like fancy, but like with ghee. I know. Hilarious. Here is everything egg, one egg, baking soda, baking powder, salt, butter, milk, buttermilk, flour. Ta da! Now, there's a very specific mixing method, and if you mess up, you're banished. Sorry. I thought that was gonna be a lot cooler than it was. <laughs> this is the lumpiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looks like cottage cheese. I think I did something wrong. Now we're supposed to let it rest for 20 minutes. This is a quick and fun pancake recipe. Please help me, I don't wanna wait. I've actually never made pancakes from scratch before, so this is fun and exciting. Welcome to my new channel where it's family friendly and I don't cuss, cause those are the new YouTube rules. So fun. This batter kinda smells a bit weird. Doesn't really smell like pancake batter. I don't really know what I did as usual. Ugh. I am me and I can't even make pancakes. Oh, God. Nobody's got time for this in the morning. Like a little surprise. Surprise. Ooh, you know what seems like a good pancake flipper? This rice cooker thing, cause it just like, I know this is probably not right. But look at that, genius, genius. I wouldn't call them the fluffiest pancakes ever, would you? Mm, what did I do? These look like regular pancakes. Buzzfeed's fire. First of all, they don't smell good. Second of all, they're not the fluffiest. They're not even marginally fluffier. Are these any fluffier than other pancakes you've seen? Tell the truth. I put in too much baking soda. These taste like soap. This is literally soap cakes. Welcome to my soap cake. Okay, I cannot believe you just sat through that whole video. That was probably one of the worst videos I've edited. I've just been so busy. I have a job as an intern for a doctor and literally the past couple days I've just been working so I'm so sorry. 
I promise the one on Wednesday will be better. I'm going to finish the $1, one pound a day challenge. I cannot believe you're still watching this. Like, thank you. My heart. Notification squad shout out goes to my little snowflake who's always supporting me. If you want a shout out or you want your Instagram shout it out, just make sure you hashtag notification squad. You send me some love, some hearts, some happiness. I love you and I will see you next time. Mwah.